Welcome everyone to the 12 Days of Anime, where for the first day I will be talking about one of my favorites of the year, Talentless Nana. And I'm going to try to do so without spoilers. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, this show is good. Concept-wise, it seems simple enough. It's about a school for those with superpowers, a main character without superpowers, and their battle against the enemies of humanity. I was first drawn to the concept because I thought the idea of having a main character who didn't have powers would be cool. Though it seems like every time I see a show like that, they end up giving them a power, or a power in some way that doesn't quite count, but they're still overpowered because of course they are. But here though, it instead features a main character who fights only with intelligence, and that makes the show really good. The mind games are incredible. You have a back and forth between characters, plans within plans, contingencies within contingencies, and this is so much fun to watch. I keep wondering who will win, what their actual plan is, or how they'll get out of an impossible situation. It reminds me a lot of, well, Death Note. The only problem I have with the show is the cliffhangers are brutal, <laughs> and I sort of wish I wasn't watching this weekly because, well, it's very, very painful. But now I'm too hooked and I can't put this show on hold because every day I'm thinking, wait, is there a new episode out? But then, sadly, most days, no. One of the things I love about this show is how it uses such a like well-known concept to create something unique. Like, the concept is super cliché. But that's why it works. We don't need any introduction to understand the world or the characters. That instead gives the show a lot of room to explore the world, do what it wants to do instead of retreading the same ground every other show seems to. And it asks a lot of questions about how society would react to people with superpowers. Or, and then get yeah, the whole enemies of humanity concept too, which just ties in wonderfully. It's sort of been in the background for a lot of the show, which is kind of disappointing, but only because I want to see that and I hope we do eventually. It actually gives me some Shinsuke Yoria from the New World vibes, which, again, one of my favorite shows there. Now, I'm not saying this is as good as it, but it's going in a very interesting direction that I hope is explored more. And I've enjoyed the look at the characters here, especially with how their power has affected them. The way this show is broken up is like it gives a lot of characters uh, one to two episode arcs where you get to explore them, understand them, and just how they are as people, how their powers have shaped them, along with the conflict that they are drawn into for that arc. And I really like this. It sort of feels like there's a lot of characters that aren't explored much, or at least when it's not their time to shine, they don't get much focus, which is kind of disappointing. But I do like this more laser focus on the characters of the arc and they have had some very interesting characters so far. And there are definitely some moments where you question who is truly fighting for good or evil, because, well, just the way they are presented and examined. Though I think one of my favorite things about the show is just the ideas they explore and how the themes are so relevant. The ideas here, you have those with power, those without, fear of the enemies of humanity, and then there's also some parts about the danger divisions cause all incredibly relevant. There is a line in here about how people don't believe facts, but instead people. This is so true. I mean, look around. You will see examples of this. I don't want to get political in this video, but well, I easily could, and you see how that line would apply to politics very well. But I'll just leave it there. And that's what elevates Talentless Nana beyond just a show I enjoy watching. It instead gives me a way to view the world and see how people are framed by the people that they believe. Very interesting here. So yeah, I love the show. I think it's the first time where I've made a video about the first episode saying this could be amazing and I come back to it when it's finished or nearly finished and say, yes, this is amazing. So it's good to actually be right when I call a show at the beginning. I'm like one for 10 now. But hey, this show is great, so I will take it. And hopefully it will wrap up well, and then it might just be my top anime of the year. Though I kind of feel like it won't because it feels like it needs a season two. But I'll be more than happy with that too, assuming it actually gets one. I hate it when anime don't. So yeah, thank you for checking out the video, for checking out my first video for the 12 Days of Anime. And join me tomorrow where I think I'll talk about another currently airing show. We'll see. Anyway, talk to you then. Thank you for watching. Good night, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and I'll see you all later.